I'm not gonna hold you, right? What up, fam? With your fine ass. What up, boy? I'm <laughs> Bro, we went and got some pizza. Oh, Lord, I'm finna run over, walk over the boy. We went and got some pizza, bro. These joints is so good. Sheesh. Them joints is so good. But today's video, what I'm going to show y'all is how I got rid of the bumps in the back of my head. Okay? Y'all remember I did a few videos. And I had a whole bunch of bumps in the back of my neck. 2020, not 2020. But 2020 is a crazy year. But 2018 to 2020. That's when I, you know, I was out here looking like I had the herp the herp up in the back of my neck. You know what I'm saying? Not like I had the herp the herp up in the back of my neck. No, that it wasn't. That's not what it was. I'm a grown ass man. Okay, there's no need for me to have any. Who's kissing me in the back of my neck? Stop playing with me. All right, stop playing with me. So anyway, <clears throat> how did I get rid of it? Well, the first things I did was <clears throat> I changed my my trimmers and my liners. So I used to use these right here, bro. I had these for like five years, you know, and I'm going to be real with you. I wasn't cleaning them right. I wasn't taking care of them right. So I definitely changed these. That's the first process. What I ended up getting was uh, some wall professionals and they were cordless. So I had to get those and some wall detailers. Definitely had to get these. These ones is fire. I'm probably going to get some new ones, some cordless ones or whatever, but I changed my liners and my clippers, or my liners and whatever. I changed the joints I cut my hair with, okay? First step. Then, hold on. I got to turn the heat off. I got to turn the heat off. I'm wild. The heat making some background noises I don't like. There it go. All right. Turn the heat off just now. All right, so the next process, I went ahead and I got these joints right here. Cool Care. Okay? Cool Care. Now, Cool Care is supposed to sterilize your joint. I sound like an infomercial. Cool Care is supposed to sterilize your joint. And it, it worked. So, from after I got the new liners and the new trimmers, I went to start from scratch pretty much. So, after I cut my hair, I used to hit them joints. I sprayed them joints down. Every time. Every time I cut my hair, I spray them joints down. You feel me? I want to make sure when I put them back in the box, they were sterilized and ready for me to use again. That was one mistake I was making before. All right, so I did that, and the next step, I bought these. This joint right here, Kitty Kitty. Now, I don't know if I'm pronouncing the name wrong, but when I hear Kitty Kitty, I just think about something else. You know what I'm saying? I did, you know. That's just where my mind was at. But I got this joint right here, and I noticed after I started putting it on, it actually worked. I wasn't gonna get it at first because, but a lot of my subscribers started um suggesting it. People were saying it in the comment section. Then I got a few messages on Instagram saying I should get it. So peer pressure won, and I went ahead and I got it. It worked. I ain't gonna lie, it worked, but it didn't work all the way. I'm not going to say it 100% worked for me. Maybe it 100% worked for other people, but it didn't 100% work for me. So the next thing I did was I went to the urgent care. And, you know, I showed them what it was. They knew it was folliculitis. They prescribed me an antibiotic. And that's what set everything in motion for the bumps to disappear. It was the antibiotic. That was the first thing. Then after that, they started, they kind of went down. I started using this more. And, you know, I want to say they disappeared. They did disappear for a point in time. And then um, one day I tried to, like, give myself a, a taper in the back there. And I saw, like, one or two come back. But as far as I know now, they're, they're pretty much gone. The only thing I have is, like, the dark marks in the back. Which, you know... I'm probably gonna um I'm gonna go to Danae because y'all know Danae is an esthetician, so I'm gonna go to Danae and get her to give me like a facial in the back of my neck and just get rid of those dark marks. But for those of y'all who was asking, that's how I ended up getting rid of the dark marks in the back of my neck. I changed my liners and my trimmers and I bought some um some joint to disinfect them. 
Like, you need something to disinfect them, bro. Then I went and I got the antibiotic. And then I got the kitty kitty. And what I will say is also you got to be careful when you, like, go play basketball. And you, like, got your do-rag on and all that. That's going to mess you up, bro. Because it's bacteria that's living in your joint at the end of the day. And bacteria love moisture in dark places. So, if you go and go play basketball with your do-rag on... As soon as you finish, make sure you, like, take your do-rag off, big homie. Put a dry one on. Like, go to the gym with a dry one. That way you be you be set. Because for me, you know, I used to wet my do-rag. That was part of my whole getting wave process. I wet my do-rag, you feel me, and I tie it on, on my head, and I just leave it there to the dry. And I did that joint a lot. So that's how, that's how all them bacteria and all of that was able to grow on the back of my neck. And... I'm going to be real with you. Because I have a story on here about this too. But you got to make sure. You got to 100% make sure. That nobody else is using your um your trimmers and your liners. Without your knowledge. You feel what I'm saying? Like I, I, I remember I tell this story how. I was at my man's crib. We, they was playing Madden or whatever. And his girl was blowing his phone up. He told me to read the text message. And she said that. She had um used his his trimmers to shave her private parts, and it kind of it put me in a a hurtful hurtful uh mode because the day before he had used them same trimmers to cut my head. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all seen that story time, but yeah, I I got that on there. So what I'm saying is you don't want that to happen to you, bro. You don't want your girl to be using your liners and your trimmers when you sleep or when you at work. To shave her poom poom and her ass hair and all that. And then you go ahead and, and cut your hair with it. And now you got ass grease in the back of your head. And, and you know what I'm saying? It's, that's not a good situation for nobody. You feel me? Like, I know I'm good. Because my, my wife be getting her wax and all that. So she don't, she don't touch my stuff. But for the rest of y'all. I don't know who you dating. But she might be that type. She might really be that type, son. She might be shaving her ass hairs with your, with your trimmers and your liners. So, my suggestion to you is lock them joints up. You feel me? Like, if you're going to borrow it, if you're going to lend it out, I honestly, bro, I suggest you don't even lend it out, bro. Because you might lend it to your man so he can give himself a lineup. And his girl might be an ass shaver, too. So, you don't want, yeah, you don't want them type of problems. I personally don't want them type of problems. So, if I was you... Lock them joints up, man. Throw away the key. Anybody ask you if you got them, just tell them they broke. Yeah, bro, the blade broke. I ain't got no new ones yet. That's your best bet. That's what I do. That's what I should. That's what I do now. I don't give a... Nah, bro. I don't got those, bro. The blade broke. I don't... I let my damn liners to you. Your girl in here shaving her poom poom with it. Hell no. Nah. Anyway, that's the video. If you like the video, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. And you know, oh, follow me on TikTok, bro. Overdose Laz underscore. Overdose underscore Laz on TikTok. Squad.